So a couple weeks ago, I made a video of why I'm not hyped for the upcoming Breath of the Wild sequel called Tears of the Kingdom, and surprisingly enough, it became one of my highest viewed Zelda videos here on this channel. Hand clap, yes, I know. Check it out if you want my complete thoughts on the topic. I still want to stress to you guys, especially coming into this video for the first time, no, I do not hate Breath of the Wild, but it's definitely not the masterpiece that everyone claims it is, so I'll leave it at that. Now, I have two major concerns for the sequel. Will Tears of the Kingdom solve the issues that I had with Breath of the Wild, or will it pretty much deliver most of the same, but with more tools to utilize within the game's foundations? But before we dive into any farther than that, you can definitely help me solve this problem. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more gaming content here on this channel. So just two days ago, Nintendo had a Nintendo Direct to showcase some of the titles that will release within the next couple of months. And yeah, there are a couple of JRPGs that I will cover in a separate video. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But besides that, we all knew that it was inevitable for Nintendo to finally show us what Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has to offer. It couldn't just be another teaser trailer. It had to be something that we could actually sink our teeth into. We need to know what the game is about. Will it be different? And how much will the new gameplay mechanics change how we interact with the open world of Hyrule? Some questions need to be answered. And did Nintendo deliver? And the answer is, hell no. The recent trailer explained absolutely nothing, and it was yet yet again another teaser, and dare I say, it was one of the worst trailers out of all the Tears of the Kingdom gameplay footage that we have shown so far. We got to hear what I assume is Ganon's voice, cool I guess, but we know less than what we already have known before. The game is looking to be what I feared the most. The game looks like it's going to be more of the same, more features, and it boggles my mind to why Nintendo is being so secretive with this game's marketing. Now, I know Nintendo will probably do a Tears of the Kingdom showcase in its own direct, but if they don't, that's quite alarming in my opinion. The trailer shows that now Link has an ancient arm that pretty much replaced the Seeker Slate and behaves in the same fashion, so you'll be able to manipulate objects, uh, traverse, and even solve puzzles with it. Then we are also was introduced to new vehicles for ground and air mobility. They look pretty uh, mud to me. And I definitely learned my lesson this time, so I won't be expecting any kind of linear cinematic storytelling going into this game, no matter how much the trailer shows, you know, a well-crafted story or a cinematic sense of storytelling in the trailer. But the most damning piece of information we receive from this reveal is the fact is that the game will be priced at $70. What the fuck is going on down in Nintendo? This will be the first Nintendo Switch game to be priced at $70. What is the justification for this? What new technology is being used in this game that Nintendo had to up their first party exclusive to $70? Because as of right now, we're paying for a game that was supposed to be Breath of the Wild DLC, but later converted into a full game and is priced as a PS5 and Xbox Series X game. Can someone tell me please what I'm missing here? It's one thing if Nintendo is planning to release an upgraded Switch and decide to not reveal it until closer to its release date, then okay, maybe $70 would justify it if it means higher resolution and frame rate. If that's not the case, then Nintendo is charging $70 simply because they can? Oh, wait a minute, that's exactly what they're doing. Because in a Game Informer interview, they asked Nintendo about the sudden increase for Tears of the Kingdom. And they said, and I quote, we determined the suggested price for any Nintendo product on a case by case basis. Translation, we did it because we fucking can. And I don't know what to say. What boggles my mind is how some of these Nintendo fans just eat whatever Nintendo throws at them. Nothing hype about this new trailer. There's nothing hype about this new trailer and yet we have ton of fake hype reaction videos salivating over the game that has yet to show us anything worth being hyped over. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, this wasn't going to be a long video because there's pretty much not much to say. There wasn't really any details regarding gameplay mechanics, uh, backstory. We still know nothing and Nintendo is really, really being hush hush about this. And for a game to be in five to six years of development, it surely doesn't look like it's been five or six years of development because it looks pretty much what we've already seen before in breath of the wild now i know people's going to say of course it is it's pretty much the same engine is utilizing everything else but for them to charge us 70 dollars for this it really has me scratching my head unless there's a missing piece of the puzzle that we still have yet 
to know what's going on and what Nintendo is thinking. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the new Tears of the Kingdom trailer. Are you still hyped for it or are you starting to have concerns for this title as well? Now, I'm not saying that the game is going to be trash. I'm not saying the game is going to be it's going to suck, but there's definitely something going on as far as why Nintendo is being so secretive about it. So if you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more fighting game, JRPG, and video game content here on this channel. This is Mugen Lord, signing off. I'll see you game fiends later. Peace out.